My name is Chris Chambers, Area Manager for Brett Martin. On this particular project, we've supplied a whole roof in Marlon CST Heat Guard Grade 50. Uh, the material itself is a 6mm triple wall structure. It comes in three different grades, 25, 50 and 100. Those grades themselves represent the amount of pigment within the sheet. So in essence, what the material does is reflects the harmful UV that causes natural overheating in a building. Uh, while still controlling the amount of daylight that the, the cow and the animal is getting inside the shed. Hi, my name's George Bingham of uh, Bingham's Dairy. We're presently milking almost 900 cows. Family run farm, mother and father started the farm with 25 cows and it gradually grew and grew and grew. In the roof, that's quite unusual. We've put a polycarbonate roof in this shed. It was, it's designed to reflect the heat but let as much natural light in as possible. The shed will be up two years now in Christmas and to be honest it's, it's fabulous. To me it is a game changer within livestock building. Cows are just far happier. There used to be an old nutritionist he used to say you want the cows black to be black and her white to be white and, and I personally think the cows their hide is in a great condition and that's just a sign of good natural light and ventilation. This summer with a lot of very hot summer days and it was cooler inside this shed than it was outside. One of the big benefits we've seen from this shed is the cows have been cycling so much better. We have a herd health visit every Monday morning and we have seen a vast reduction in drugs and treatments. It used to be we'd have had to put cows on to synchronization programs and now we have very few cows need put on a program. It's a sign of the cow's health. One of the first things that, a, that will switch off on a cow is her fertility if she's not in good health. She'll milk away, but the first thing that she'll switch off is her fertility and she'll not go into calf. Conception rates are better. On the number of cows that we have, we need to aim for about 12 to 15 pregnancies every week and, and we are hitting our targets. Yields are up. Like this shed will be averaging 40 litres. Uh, there's times a year it might drop maybe to 39, but there's other times a year it'll be up to 43. So uh, litres are up, and it's not just litres, it's the knock-on effect of if the cows are healthier, the cows are lasting longer, so it's really, you know, your replacement rates have improved. The shed, because it has such much more natural light, artificial light is on much less. The lights are on photocells, but they go off in the mornings far earlier, and they come on far later in the day, so yes, you're, you're using a lot less electricity. Would I use the sheet again? Yes, definitely. I'm going to cover a silo that's going to be converted into a calf shed, and we'll be putting the same roof on. I think now you do see people are putting it over milking parlors. It would be lovely over a milking parlor, because that's where a lot of dairy farmers spend a lot of time, and it would be just a much more nice, natural, bright, airy environment to, to milk in. Historically, a lot of old-fashioned parlours were, were like little dungeons and if people are trying to encourage staff to work in a nice environment, there's nothing like working in a nice, bright, airy building.